indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bremerton High School. This is your bulletin for Thursday, October 23rd, 2008. I'm Tiana. And I'm Kendra. And, and this, this is, is your bulletin. bulletin. What are you doing? I wanted to watch that. Nobody watches the bulletin. <sighs> a ringtone. What? It's not my ringtone. I got a new voicemail. <laughs> That's my voice. Run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> Activities for the week, Thursday, October 23rd, girls swimming with Klahalia at 3 p.m., volleyball with Klahalia at 6.15 p.m., and girls soccer with Klahalia at 6.45. And Friday, October 24th, our last varsity football home game with Klahalia at 7 p.m. And do you, staff and students, do you dare not to swear? Today's words of wisdom, swearing makes you seem immature to your peers. That's from Maria Kanz, a BHS student. Also, nights, this is a night note alert. Night notes are K-notes, so students be aware and teachers be prepared. Get caught showing your night pride. Get caught with perfect monthly attendance. If you didn't get a chance to purchase advance tickets, you can still buy the tickets at the door for tonight's evening with New York Times bestseller author, author Kelly Corgan. Kelly's inspirational book, the Mi In the Middle Place, is the story of her battle with breast cancer as well as her relationships with her family. She will be speaking tonight at BHS in the Performing Arts Center with dessert and a book signing to follow. Tickets are $15 at the door and all proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society. We hope to see you there. And FCCLA is holding the annual blood drive and we need donors. October 24th in the gym all day. Sign up in Mrs. Abby's room 111. You must be over the age of 16 and have a signed permission form to be able to donate. If you're 18 years old, just sign up to donate in room 111. You don't need a permission form. And remember, you've got it in you. The blood you give could save three lives. Attention seniors, if you have not taken Washington State History or did not meet the requirement in 7th grade, please pick up your Washington State History packet from your counselor. You must meet the requirement in order to graduate. Also, Skills USA will meet today after school in room 125 at 205. All members need to attend as we begin work on our projects and plan for a fall leadership conference. Be sure to bring your permission slips for the FLC. And there's a student athletic trainers meeting today at 2 p.m. in room 107. Also, did you think we forgot? Here's today's Getting to Know Nights. Hi, welcome to Getting to Know the Nights. I'm Liz and this is Trevor. So, how do you feel about wrestling? Um, it's more like, to some people it's just a sport, but to me it's a passion. Okay. Describe how wrestling <laughs> makes you relax. It makes me relax because... Um, I guess, in a way, some people, football makes them relax, and to me, wrestling is like, just do it. Mm -hmm. Can you describe some of the moves that you do? Um, actually, last year I hurt myself because uh, my friend tried to do a fireman's carry and sprang my neck. Hmm. What is your reasoning for choosing wrestling over all the other sports because I don't have a passion for any of the other sports I just can't excel in them because I don't I just don't have the love for doing the sport interesting well thank you and this is Trevor and I'm Liz and we have our birthdays, Ryan Ariza, <laughs> Amanda Gibb, Kevin Genoza, Ariana Kukendall, Lanice Rocket, and, and Takira, Takira Thomas. Thomas. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> and our daily thought, the forces that make it all happen and keep it all going are truly awesome. Though they can be explained and understood to a degree, they are impossible to fully comprehend. And daily joke, why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? I don't know, why do you <laughs> <laughs> In case of a drizzle. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. day in history, in 1983, 241 U.S. service members, mostly Marines, were killed in a suicide truck bombing at Beirut International Airport in Lebanon. 
A near simultaneous attack on French forces killed 58 paratroopers. Also, we have a special announcement. Junior officers meeting today in room 403 at 8.30 a.m. And that was your bulletin, everybody. Have a wonderful, magnificent day.